very good morning students welcome to our 29th lecture of econ 353 that is agricultural marketing trade and prices so in last lecture we have seen about the marketing function storage okay similar to that today we will see the marketing function warehousing it is related to the storage of agricultural commodities so first one what is warehousing so warehousing are a scientific storage facilities especially or specially constructed for the protection of the quantity and quality of the stored produces or stored products so warehousing is defined as the assumptions of responsibility for the storage of goods so there is difference in warehouses and warehousing so warehouses are a scientific storage structures warehouses are the scientific storage structures whereas warehousing is the assumption of responsibility of the storage of goods so in economics warehousing is also known as protector of national wealth dash dash is the protector of national wealth so warehousing is also known as the protector of national wealth so there are different functions of warehousing or warehouses first one scientific storage second financing third price stabilization and fourth one is market intelligence these are the four main functions of warehousing so first one scientific storage what is scientific storage in a scientific storage these are the scientifically constructed structures in which farmers they are storing their produces so a large or bulk amount of agricultural commodities may be stored in a such a structure the product or the produce which are stored in a warehouses they are protected against quantitative and qualitative losses by the use of different methods of preservations which are necessary in that particular condition so these are the scientific storages this is first function or scientific storage of commodities it is a first function of warehousing second financing it is most important as we know warehouses meet the financial need of the farmer who store the products so how the uh, some nationalized banks or some commercial banks they advance the credit or loan on the security of warehouse receipt issued by the manager or owner of warehouse owner of warehouse for the stored product up to extent of 75 to 80% value of the product so warehouse receipt serves as a collateral security for the loan or for the financial support so this is about the financing function then third is price stabilization because of warehousing because of warehousing we can stabilize the price in the market how warehouses helps in a price stabilization of agricultural commodities by checking the tendency to making post harvest sales among the farmer means after harvesting the farmers they can store their products or store their produces in the warehouses okay farmers or traders can store their produce during the post harvest season when prices are low means farmer will store their produce when the prices are the low and they will sell that produce produce in a future time when the prices will be high so they can glut in the markets because of the glut or in the market so warehouses helps in the stagnating the supplies throughout the year or keeping the constant supply throughout the year because as we know most of agriculture products they are produced seasonally but their requirement or their demand is throughout the year because of that maintaining supply throughout year it is necessary so 
warehouses plays an important role in maintaining that supply of agricultural produces throughout the year so this way uh, warehousing helps in stabilization of the agricultural product prices so this this is about the price stabilization and fourth function is market intelligence as we have learned in market information what is market intelligence intelligence so warehouses also offers the facility of market information to the person who hold their produce in the warehouses or who store their produce in the warehouses so these warehouses giving the information about the prices arrivals demand of that particular product to the person who have store their product produce in that particular warehouse so they inform about the price prevailing in the period and advise them when to market their product so they helps the farmers they helps the farmers or the person who store the product in that warehouses or they guide regarding the prices prevailing in the market or they guide regarding when to sell their produce so this is about the functions of warehousing so what is importance of warehouses what is importance of warehouses so warehousing facility helps in preventing distress sales distress sales for immediate money needs or because of lack of proper storage facilities this is first important then that warehousing gives the producer holding power how that warehousing gives the holding power to the producer or to the farmer so he can wait for the emergence of favorable market condition and get the best value for his product so in a warehouses farmers can hold or farmers can store or keep their produce for a some time for a period of time whenever they will get when whenever they will offer the good price they can sell their produce so this is a holding power so warehousing facilitate the holding power to the farmers or to the producers then warehouses helps in the reducing post harvest losses uh, and in maintaining the quality of produce thus enable the farmer to review higher prices or it helps to get higher prices after a some time of harvesting so this is all about the importance of warehouses now we'll see about the types of warehouses basically warehouses are classified on the basis of ownership and on the basis of types of commodities stored in that warehouses so on the basis of ownership warehouses are classified into three three types that is private warehouses public warehouses and third one is bonded warehouses so private warehouses are owned by the individual for their own stock for storing their own stock or they can store others produce by charging some storage fees then second is public warehouses these are the warehouses owned by the government that is under the central warehousing corporation or under the state warehousing corporation or by fci so these public warehouses are owned by the government for storage of goods of any member or any person with some prescribed sto- storage charges so this is about private and public warehouses and third type is bonded warehouses so these bonded warehouses are specially constructed at a seaport or near a airport and they accept imported goods for a storage till the payment of custom duty by the importer of goods so these bonded warehouses are licensed by the government so this is about the types of warehouses these are the mainly three types 
then types of warehouses on the basis of types of commodities stored so in that also there are three types three sub types that is general warehouses special commodity warehouses and last one is refrigerated warehouses so first one general commodity warehouses in a such warehouses the person they can store ordinary they can store any type of commodities these are the ordinary warehouses or all type of commodities like seeds fertilizer any type of commodities they may store the inputs or the outputs also then second one special commodity warehouses these are warehouses specially constructed for that particular commodity for the storage of that particular commodity uh, such as uh, cotton warehouses or tobacco warehouses are there there are so many types or there are so many warehouses for a special commodity they are constructed for storing the special commodities their arrangements are different their structures are also different for the for that storing for the storing of that particular commodity and last one is refrigerated warehouses such type of warehouses are also specially constructed in that warehouses they are maintaining the climatic factors such as the temperature and humidity most importantly temperature and humidity these uh, warehouses also are also known as the cold storages these are in a such warehouses the commodity perishable commodities like vegetable fruits eggs fish meats they are stored so this is all about the types of warehouses on the basis of ownership and on the basis of commodities stored so next is what is progress or what is the status of warehousing in india so in uh, 1928 the royal commission on of agriculture understood that there is a need of warehousing system in india to store the agricultural produces then central banking inquiry committee in 1931 attention they have give attention to need of warehouses then reserve bank of india emphasized the need of warehouses as early in 1944 then the all india rural credit survey committee of reserve bank of india set up in 1951 and they have submitted in a report in a 1954 they also made a comprehensive recommendations for the development of warehousing as an integrated scheme for rural credit and marketing okay as a result of recommendation of this committee of the committee the government of india they have and enacted the agriculture produce development and warehousing corporation act in 1956 so the act is uh, provided for following things the act the act of agriculture produce Co corporation 1956 uh, provided for the establishment of national cooperative development national cooperative development and warehousing board keep in mind national cooperative development and warehousing board was set up on 1st september 1956 keep in mind the date 1st september 1956 establishment of national cooperative development and warehousing board then second thing is the establishment of central warehousing corporation that is cws about the central warehousing corporation and state warehousing corporation we have seen in lecture number 19 about the uh, agriculture marketing institutions public sector agriculture marketing institutions in that we have seen about the central warehousing corporation and state warehousing corporation so the the act provided for establishment of central warehousing corporation which was established on 2nd march 1957 and last one is the establishment of the state warehousing corporation that is S W S S W C in all the states of India, which were starting of this state warehousing corporation between 1957 to the August 1958. So this is about the warehousing in India. So we have to see how these warehouses works. So working of warehouses, as we know, first one is acts. 
दिस वेयर हाउसेज आर वर्क ऑन द एक्ट द वेयर हाउसेज वर्क अंडर द रिस्पेक्टिव वेयर हाउसिंग एक्ट पास बाय द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एंड सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट एंड फॉर दिस वेयर हाउसिंग दिस एक्ट ऑफ द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट एंड स्टेट गवर्नमेंट दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग द लाइसेंस ओके देन वॉट इज इलिजिबिलिटी सो इलिजिबिलिटी एनी पर्सन कैन स्टोर द नोटिफाइड कमोडिटीज और द लिस्टेड कमोडिटीज इन वेयर हाउसेज बाय पेइंग सम स्टोरेज चार्जेस नाउ मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट इज वेयर हाउस रिसिप्ट और इन अदर वर्ड्स इट मे बी कॉल्ड एज द वारंट द क्वेश्चन मे बी आस राइट अ नोट डाउन ऑन अ वारंट इट मे बी इन यूअर सेमिस्टर एंड थेरी एग्जाम और इट मे बी इन यूअर सेमिस्टर एंड प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम सो वारंट इज अ रिसिप्ट इश्यूड बाय द वेयर हाउस ओनर और मैनेजर टू द पर्सन स्टोरिंग हिज प्रोड्यूस इन दैट वेयर हाउस वॉट इज वारंट वारंट इज अ वेयर हाउस रिसिप्ट प्रोवाइडेड बाय द मैनेजर और ओनर ऑफ वेयर हाउस टू द पर्सन हु इज स्टोरिंग हिज प्रोड्यूस इन दैट वेयर हाउस सो दिस रिसिप्ट mentions the name and location of warehouse the date of issue of receipt uh, the description of commodity is most important it is also mentioned on that receipt including the grade weight and approximate value of that produce based on the present price so this warehouse receipt or warrant serve as a collateral security in importance of warehouse we have seen the warehouse receipt serves as a collateral security for the purpose of getting credit or loan from nationalized and commercial banks so these banks advance up to 75 to 80% they advance the loan up to the 75 to 85 80% the value of the produce stored okay then next is use of chemicals so warehouses are the scientific storage structures so in a scientific storage we need to use some chemical to protect against the rodents insect fungi bacteria and other infestation so they are also using the some chemical then financing as we know warehouse receipts serve as a collateral security for the purpose of advancing or for the purpose of getting the credit and last one the delivery of produce so after submitting or after submitting we can get our produce or we can withdraw our produce from that warehouse so warehouse receipt has to be surrendered to the warehouse owner or manager before the withdrawal of the good after paying the storage charges so this is all about the working of warehouses so for this topic or for this course you can refer the book agriculture marketing in india by ss acharya and nl agrawal and another book is there that is agriculture economics by subha reddy thank you